All right, you've been working out in the gym, you got some results, but now you're at a plateau. You need something to break through? I got three workout tricks that'll do exactly that. Give you a trick for faster fat loss. Hey, this is Craig Valentine, Certified Turbulence Trainer, creator of Turbulence Training, here with Certified Turbulence Trainer, Brian Calake, and we're gonna give you three workout tricks for faster results. Now, they involve changing the variety in your program. Some of them are really, really, really cool that you've probably never heard of. Some of them are classic time-tested that you might have forgotten and need to get back into your program. So the very first one is what we call incomplete reps, using the 90% or one and a half rep style. So Brian, why don't you show us 90% close grip push-ups. Now sometimes we do three quarter push-ups as well. But what he's doing is he's not going up to the top full range of motion. He's keeping tension on the muscle at all times. You can do this for chest presses. You can do this for pull downs. You can do this for pull ups. You can do this for these push ups. You can do it for all your lower body exercises. Awesome one is a narrow stance squat bar with a barbell on your back. When you do that one, you squat down and you come back up and you maintain the tension on the quads. Keep going for 12 to 15 reps. You will have smoked your muscles in a way so much different than your regular workouts. Now, Brian, let's show them one and a half reps for split squats. Now, another great exercise to do this is Bulgarian split squats. So what Brian's doing is he's going down, halfway up, and then all the way up. That's one and a half repetitions. And so if you're regularly doing 12 reps, holding dumbbells down by your side, drop the weight a little bit and do your 12 reps, one and a half rep style, and you'll get some amazing muscle soreness, therefore some more adaptation in your body, and you'll burn more fat, build more muscle, and you'll get back on track getting results. You can do that for chest presses, pull-ups, many, many exercises. One and a half rep style. So that's our first trick, changing our reps to incomplete repetitions. All right, next one, tempos and squeezing. So for this one, Let's just show a real slow tempo on the way down for push-ups. So regular push-ups. Now we're going to go five, four, three, two, one, and then up for one. Now let's do four down, three up. So we're slowing things down, really focusing on the muscle group. He's really focusing on his pecs as he does that. You can use this for almost any exercise. We're changing what's called the tempo, the speed of the motion. The lowering phase is known as the eccentric exercise portion, and the lifting phase is known as the concentric. Your muscle damage generally comes from that eccentric lowering phase. And if you do a slow eccentric lowering phase, and right now you're usually doing a quick one, you'll notice a big difference in your muscle soreness. So maybe just one or two of your regular sets in your next workout should be a four to five second lowering phase. That's one. Now to ramp it up with dumbbells, another way to, to take advantage of this is squeezing. So when you bring the weights down and bring them back up, you're gonna add a one second tempo at the top where you squeeze your chest together. And then you bring the weights back down, whatever tempo on the lowering phase, press back up and then squeeze together. It's very much like the 90%. You're not going all the way to straightening out so the joints are not holding the weight, the muscles are supporting the weight, and squeeze at the top for a little extra benefit. So, so far we've actually given you four tricks. We've given you the 90%, one and a half reps, we've given you the tempos and the squeezing. You can also change your grips and stances, of course, but we're also gonna do drop sets. Now this one works best with dumbbells. So for example, you would do Dumbbell curls with 30 pounds for eight to 10 repetitions, then immediately drop the weight down to 25 or 20 pounds, get four repetitions, drop it down again, and finish off with another four. Any other exercises you'd love to use drop sets with? Chest presses. Chest presses are another great one. Squats are another great one. What you're doing is picking a weight and a repetition range, and this is a classic one. This is definitely not something that I've invented, but it's one that most people forget, and it also allows you to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. 
If you're running out of time and you really want to get in three to four minutes of arm training at the end of your chest and back workout, because hey, you got to go out to the club, that's going to be perfect for you. Just going down the rack, starting with the 30s, then the 25s, then the 20s, maybe rest 30 seconds and go through it again, boom, you've hit it with drop sets. So don't forget about those classic techniques and those four other techniques that will give you those little tricks you need to get the results that boost your fat burning and muscle building. So let me know if you like those, click on the like below, and then also tell us what your favorite trick is for getting more results. Or just let us know which one you like out of those ones. And then click on the link, get more workouts, and we'll see you with your better results real soon. I'm Craig Ballantyne from TurbulenceTraining.com.